Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Kami to mark up student work. What Kami is, Kami is connected to your Google Drive. Basically, once you set up this connection, you can right click on any document in your Google Drive and open it with Kami. And this is when I open it with Kami, you'll see that I have all of these tools. I can do the drawing, which is what I typically do. And then I just write with my pen. You can also leave text box comments. You can leave little point and click comments and so forth. Now, I typically just use the free version. I've been using the free version for a number of years and it's met all of my needs. They were offering a free trial recently, so I did take advantage of that and I'll show you some of those additional features. But again, I've been using the free version to meet my needs. Some of the things that are premium are like these voice comments and the video comments. Those are premium features, so they're only unlocked because I'm on my trial right now. Another thing that is premium is a connection with Google Classroom. I can see how that can be helpful, but I'm gonna show you my process for collecting student work and also giving student work back so that you can see how I've been able to accomplish it with the free version of Kami. Now you might be wondering how I write like this. I have a Wacom tablet, so I just plug that in and then I'm able to handwrite on all of these documents. So let me start with talking you through how I collect student work. I just have a Google Drive folder that's called Scanned Work Submissions, and I give all of my students editing permission to this folder so that they can put their work in here. Now that does mean that students can see one another's work. For me, that is not an issue in my class. Why is this folder empty? Because as soon as I grade something, I move that file to the student's private folder. So in this folder right here, I have an individual folder for each student and I'll just move the work into their folder so that then only the student and myself have access to that file. So typically this stays pretty empty because once I've graded the file, it is out of this folder and just shared with the student. That's what I do at the beginning of the year. I set up a folder for each of the students in my class, share each of those folders with just me and the student, and then every time I grade something, I right click on the file and move it to that student's folder. So let me submit a sample piece of work so that we can grade it together. Here we go. Here's a sample file. I am pretty strict with my students on getting them to name files well so that they can find them and I can find them. I would just right click on the file within my Google Drive and then I go to open with Kami. Now, how do I get that started for the first time? I recommend going to kamiapp.com and creating an account. After you do that, you can just go back to your Google Drive, right click, and go to open with and then you can connect more apps and from there you can just search for Kami and add it to your Google Drive and then you'll have that same functionality that I do. So now I can right click, open with, annotate with Kami. That's it. Now that PDF loads up and I can run OCR so that would mean that I would be able to search anything within the page. I'm not going to do that right now and then I can just use the inking tools to ink anything up that I need to. I can also use the text tool to type. You can see that I have a lot of formatting options here. So easy to select a bunch of different colors. I basically just use the drawing and the text normally because again, I would use the voice comment. However, that is a paid feature, so I don't usually have access to that. Once I have finished grading the work, you can just save it right here and I can move the file directly to that shared workspace that I was telling you that I have with the student. So it all is connected with my Google Drive and it's very easy. Now, one thing that I want to point out is that the drawing and the text box type of comments, they work perfectly without students needing to download Kami themselves. They can view all of their comments in Google Drive on their laptop and on their phone. But if you use some of the dynamic type of comments, such as that point and click comment type, or of course, if you're gonna be using some of the premium features like the voice or the video, 
then students would need Kami. So I'm gonna keep this tutorial today super simple and just recommend that you use the drawing and the text box type of comments. And for those, students would not need to install anything extra. They will be able to just open up the file in Google Drive, see all of the comments that you have left for them because all of those are flattened annotation types. Now pretend that I'm a student and I just open it up so I don't have Kami, I just open it up. Then you'll see that the student can see everything. They don't need Kami in order to see all the annotations that I've given them. However, if they're on their phone and they open it up in the Google Drive app, then this is what they see. They don't see that point comment right here. They don't see anything that's happening on the side. So that's something to be aware of and to know. My recommendation is to just stick with the drawing and the text boxes for that reason, because then all you have to do is save it, save now, and then students do not need the Kami app. They can just open it up in Google Drive. When they click on it, their document is going to be changed to reflect those annotations. As you can see, it takes a moment to open it up. When I first click on it, there's nothing there. Boom, it popped up. So it took maybe 30 seconds to show up. Let me just show you that the live update works. So say that I wanna add one more thing in. Go back and save. I know that it auto saves, but I always have to press the save now. So if I go back and I refresh this again, and then open it up right in Google Drive. As you can see, again, I have to wait. There is a delay. And there, everything shows up. So it's the live updates. So that is pretty much how I annotate my student work. I have students submit their work to a shared folder. They use a scanning app and then they upload as a PDF. That's very important that they upload it as a PDF. Then I right click on the file, open with, annotate with Kami. It opens it up in Kami just like this and I can use the drawing tools and the text box tools and those are the ones that I recommend sticking to. The ones like the comment tools that are more dynamic in nature, you would then really wanna train your class to actually open the file in Kami like you're opening it in Kami. They can do the same thing if they install Kami. That's personally not what I do because I don't use any of these dynamic comments. So if you stick to drawing and text, you won't have to worry about that. So grade it as you would. Then I go back to the save and I personally move it into that student's folder. I get it out of the scan submissions folder and I move it to the folder that I just share with the student so that will change the permissions and then it's just shared between the student and me and then I press the save now button so that it updates then students will be able to just go to their folder so not the scanned work submissions because everything's going to be gone from there after I grade it they'll go to their private folder and that's where they can access all their work over time it's always there with my annotations so I hope this helps as you think about your workflow for making things paperless in your classroom. That's it for now. Bye.